In this video, I will compare Morgan versus Amy and tell you which of these calendar and to-do list creation platforms may be best for you and your needs. So first, let's compare what they do exactly and who they are for. So starting with Amy, as you can see, you can create to-dos, so to-do lists, you can connect your emails and you have a calendar, which you will see right here. So it's a simple time blocking calendar where you can set time blocks for specific tasks that you want to get done. So an Amy feature that I like a lot is that here you will see your emails from your connected email account and you can simply drag in emails onto your calendar as a task. So that is very helpful for example if you get an email that is asking you to do something and you want to do it later but you don't want to forget it then you can simply drag it into tomorrow at whatever time you want or at any other day of course. It's just a very handy feature. Now in terms of pricing, they don't unfortunately have a free plan. They only have the pro plan here best for power creators, which is 12 euros per month when you bill monthly and 8 euros per month when you bill annually. And in this plan, you do get unlimited integrations, AI auto scheduling and the email feature. Then in the enterprise, you get priority support via email. Now comparing this to Morgan, Morgan is a pretty similar tool and you also have the time block calendar right here where you can just drag in tasks. Now a great feature from Morgan is that you can drop tasks from your to-do apps. So for example, that can be Todoist, it can be Notion or ClickUp and you can just drag those into your calendar and your calendar can be connected to pretty much any of the major calendar providers. For example, Google Calendar, Outlook, Apple, Exchange, Fastmail and more. So that is a great thing about Morgan. It integrates with pretty much any calendar that you may be using and you can just drag in tasks from a bunch of to-do apps into your calendar to really easily schedule those, kind of similar to the emails on Amy. So if you are using any of these apps right here, so that's Notion, Todoist, Linear, Google Tasks, ClickUp, or coming soon Obsidian, and you are using those to schedule your to-dos, then I would use Morgan because you can really easily drag them into your calendar, and that is just a great way to schedule it. Also, if you're looking for a free option, then I would also go with Morgan since they have a completely free plan available and their paid plan is 15 euros per month when you bill monthly and then for yearly it's 9 euros and then there's also a custom enterprise plan. Now in terms of features that you will unlock in the pro plan, you have a booking page and scheduling links which is a feature I like a lot. So you can set up a booking page and you will get a link to that page that you can then share where people can book in meetings to whatever time slots that you have set available. You will also unlock the task integrations and time blocking and the Morgan Assist automations. So when should you use Morgan and when should you go with Amy? In my opinion, you should go with Morgan if you're looking for a free option or if you are looking for a tool that will help you with booking in meetings way faster than if you are just going back and forth over email, or if you're using any of the integrated to-do apps that I just covered. In those cases, I would go with Morgan. If not, I would go with Amy's. So if you don't mind paying for a subscription and if you don't use any of those to-do apps, and Amy works especially well on Apple devices. You also have stuff like a Pomodoro timer, you can set time zones, you have multiple accounts, you can create widgets on your Apple devices. For example, you can see your to-do list in a widget, which is very nice. Now, if this video helped you make a decision between Morgan or Amy, then I would appreciate it if you do sign up to these tools, whichever one you pick through the links down in the description. You can get started with both of them completely for free and you can download them for free. Now for Morgan, if you do sign up through my link in the description and then eventually also upgrade to the pro plan, whether you want to pay yearly or monthly, right here in the checkout page, you can click add discount and then enter code how to 10, then click apply to get a 10% discount on your subscription. Now, if you sign up through the link in the description, this code may be applied automatically, but I'm not entirely sure. So if not, just gonna enter code how to 10. And with Amy, it will take you to their website. From here, you can just scroll down and then click download for iOS, macOS, Silicon, or Intel, or even for Windows. And for Android, it's not available yet. So that concludes this comparison of Morgan versus Amy.
If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.